I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect cup of tea using a tea bag. Now when people are using tea bags they're often in a rush and they don't make the tea properly. So the first thing you should do is take your tea bag and put it in your cup. Some people would actually also like to warm this cup first so that it will help the tea brew. Next we need to take freshly boiled water. If the water is already boiled, it will have lost a lot of oxygen and that means the tea won't brew properly and the resulting infusion will be flat and dull. So you must always use freshly drawn water and allow the water to come fully to the boil. It should reach 100 degrees Celsius for the tea to brew properly. So as the kettle is now coming up to a rolling boil, we'll just turn it off so again it doesn't overboil and lose all the oxygen and pour that straight onto the tea bag. So you want the tea to brew as close to 100 degrees Celsius as possible so that it gets a really good infusion. My managing director always tells me that you should treat tea bag as you treat a loose tea, so give it as good a brew as possible. And one of the things you can do if you've got a saucer is cover that over to help keep the heat in. This is where people often go wrong with a tea bag they'll stand and dunk the tea bag and as soon as the colour looks about right, they'll think it's ready to drink. Well, tea bag tea is the same as any tea, it needs time for the full flavour to come out. And for tea bags, we say you must give it a minimum of three minutes to brew properly. So we've now given the tea a good three minutes to brew. We take the saucer off and we'll just give the tea a little bit of a dunk to help it mix even better. Now it's looking like it's got a good strong colour, but the flavour will also have come out. And take this tea bag out. Also give it a little bit of a squeeze to get all the flavour out. And there again is your perfect cup of tea. You can drink that however you like. You can drink it black with a little bit of milk or lemon or sugar. That's up to you, but you should now have given the tea the chance to develop the full flavour which we intended. Mm -hmm.